Alright. Hello, everybody. Jake back again, and I have, uh... This is another deck profile. Uh, I, I do not like the... The, um... Online duels. They're not fun for me. Like, recording them's not fun. So... Um... I have not done them. <laughs> and plus, the format's not fun right now, really, to, to play. So I want to find, like, a more casual game. Like, competitive players are even, like, trying to go around casual, even, for some reason. I don't know why they're doing that. So I'm bringing up a Gear Gear deck profile. For those who don't know what Gear Gear is, um, it is a rank 4 toolbox deck that basically has some flip effects. It's fun, and it was really good back in the day. Like, I'd say around, like, early 2014, near mid-2014. Like, it was before the summer, if I'm not mistaken. Um... That they were at their height, and then it's like they started declining, and then the structure deck came out, uh, which was my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh deck that I got when I was seriously getting in the game. So we're gonna be getting right into this. Um, we have three Gear Gear Armor. This is like the best card because you can use it over and over again. It is a it is a Stratos that you can infinitely use. Um, it just flip search. And then you can flip it back down again. And that's kind of like the gimmick of these guys. Uh, you can flip them up to get something, and then flip them back down. Some of them have, like, other effects, though. But the main, the, the best cards tend to have this effect. Um, three Gear Yager. It's another, you know, another Stratos, except you can't reuse it infinitely. And it restricts you to machine types for your special summons. And also, you can't attack at all. I used to think it was that you can't attack except with machines, but no, it's just no attacks, period. Uh, and you can use it. Mainly, you're going to be using it to search this card, along with armor, but this card is really good with auger, because it's a combo. So one card, XC summon. Because you use this, get, uh, accelerator, accelerator's effect activates. Since there's a gear gear on board, you special summon it. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, next up, we have... One, Gear Gear Attacker. Um, this thing, because of how much searching there is in this deck, um, you don't really need to worry about playing like three of this or two of this. Um, you can play one just fine, and you can fish it out of your graveyard perfectly fine. Um, it just, it, it's one of the other, like, you flip and you get an effect ones. This one, it just removes back row. Um, up to the number of other gear gears you control in this guy and then we have uh anchor same thing as attacker except it gets rid of monsters so it's flip as well then we have uh gear gear arsenal uh this thing you can cut out entirely i play it i don't know why i play it um you contribute you can pop it and get a uh, special summon of a gear gear from your deck in defense mode except gear gear arsenal and also, it can become a beater if you have, an, like, a huge beater if you have enough gear gears on board. Um, so that rounds off the, the main gear gear line. And then, um, now we're getting into, we're getting into the gear Giano. So we have three Mark II. Uh, this is really good. Um, normal summon it. Free special or flip summon it, free special summon of a gear gear from your hand or graveyard in defense mode. Pretty good. And you're mainly going to use it for this. Um, gear gear on a mark three. You don't want to open this though. Um, it, it can be a garnet. But not as bad as the next card. But this one, when it's special summon by a gear gear effect, um, you are allowed to um, special summon another gear gear from your hand or graveyard in defense but its effects are negated that's one thing and plus you cannot special summon monsters for, or i think activate effects for the rest of the turn no it's just you cannot special summon monsters during the turn you activate the effect of uh mark three except gear gear monsters so basically just for the rest of the turn you you don't special summon non-gear gear stuff uh, next up, two gear Giano. This thing's effect rarely comes up, where you pop it and get a uh, level four from your graveyard. You're using this mainly because of the trap card of the archetype, which made it really good because it's ex you know more XC spamming. 
Um, next up, uh, Silver Gadget. Open this card with a level 4. It's another one of those one card Xyz combos. You can run more of it. I only have one of it and I don't want to run odd uh, odd ratio. So I'm also playing Gold Gadget. I might bump these two up to like 2 probably. 2 is probably my bet. Um, that's just what I want to run. Um, and that, that concludes all the machine monsters. I'm going to show you the, the hand traps real quick. I don't want to play these but I don't. I haven't found like any Veilers, so I'm playing two Ghost Ogre and a Veiler. I don't know where all my common Veilers went, they just disappeared. But these two would be Veilers, if I could make them Veilers. And I don't want to remove them from my Alter Geist deck. So that concludes the monsters. Uh, the spell count's really low in this deck. Um, normally they might have more spells. Um, that might have to do with XCs maybe, I don't know. Um, Three limit removal. I'd probably cut this down to two or one if I had more of this card. Ties of the Brethren. Um, this thing, pay 2,000. Also sacrifice your battle phase. Free exceeds stuff. You know, you like target one of your level fours. You get two different level fours from your deck. Um, and then you exceeds with them because that's what you can do. Because honestly, you're not going to use the battle phase too much with this deck except for like OTKing. Uh, after you've like stopped your opponent for a bit, maybe that's what kind of this deck does. So yeah, I want more ties of the brethren. Now here is the card. This is why you play Gear Gianos. Gear Gia Gear. This thing's insane. It's a normal trap that, when activated, special summons two from the deck Gear Giano monsters. Um, and also their levels are increased by one. So that's another thing to consider. So they become level 4s, which you can XCs into rank 4s, which is what they are known for. They are known for rank 4 spamming. Now this card, uh, I can't remember when it came out. It came out like a little while ago. It's insane. Trap Trick. Um, I've seen a couple of builds that are rather recent. Like, around the time that this came out, definitely. It was, like, near the time I bought them, actually. They didn't have Trap Trick for some reason. And they keep saying, this card is important. You need it in your opening hand. This thing searches that card and sets it on your field. It is basically three more copies of Gear Gear Gear. It, it will help you open them. Play this card. It is great in Gear Gears. You will get your Gear 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 off more often because this thing will search it. So, yeah, Trap Trick. Really good. Why did I put Gear 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 over there? I don't know why. So, yeah, three Trap Trick. Uh, really good card. But, of course, with Trap Trick, I want more use out of it than just searching Gear Gear Gear. So, this is why I turned it into a more trap heavy build. We're playing three Lost Wind. Um, I'd like more cards that I can use that are targets for Lost Wind, but are also good. Of course, I'm not really wanting to put Imperms in this deck. I need to actually get them, and if I get them, they're for Altergeist. Um, two Solemn Warnings. They're kind of the best I could find out of my spare traps. And Imperial Order. This spell, the, the spell count in this deck is very low. You don't really care about your spells except maybe Ties of the Brethren, but that's only if you need some XC spamming. So that, that that rounds off the main deck. You know, it was very it's a very monster and trap heavy build. Um which I, it doesn't seem very normal actually for this kind of thing. Um next up, the extra deck. Three Gear Gig and X. I want these to be secret rare eventually, because there is secret rare printing of it. And my favorite card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Three Gear Gia Gear Gig and X G. I don't need to play this card at all. I like playing it though because it's my favorite. You can cut this down to like uh, two or one or even not play it at all. Um, what it does, uh, Gear Gear and X just searches, but that's why it was really good. It searched machines and it was it used some machines to get common combos like you set up for next turn by uh, searching like um, Augur or Accelerator or maybe an Armor with this thing. Pretty good. This one. Um, when it leaves the field, well, if it leaves, yeah, when it leaves the field, um, you get a gear gear card from your graveyard to your hand. 
Also, another thing, during the, the either player's battle phase, you, uh, if any player declares an attack involving one of your machines, you can detach a material and say no, basically. Like, it, it stops all effects from happening uh, until the end of the damage step. This card would have been so good if it, like, stopped, you know, effects for, like, either the entire battle, you know, past the damage step, maybe, and, uh, or if it just stopped everything in the battle phase, like, until the main phase. Like, that would have been, that would have been insane. That, that would have made this card really good. But still a big Xyz monster that can help stop effects in battles. Um, next up. Two honor arc. I'm gonna cut one of these down probably for a uh, like a mega clops or maybe a platinum gadget if that works in this deck. Um, so there's that. Uh, Tornado dragon. You know, lots of lots of generic rank four Xyz. Uh, Bistweller. Castell. Uh, I have Time Thief Redoer in here, as well as uh, Utopia. And um, this is kind of like my OTK machine right now. It's uh, Shark Drake. Um, you attack something. Ah. You attack something. Bring it back with a thousand less attack points. Attack again. Helps me OTK. And then this one is another uh, potential replace target. It's a uh, Power Code Talker. I never go into this, like, ever. Um, I, I go into the other cards sometimes. Um, you know, there used to be a Photon Happy Operative in here, though. I rarely go into a second honor arc though, but that's just because it's two honor arcs. But um, yeah, I never go into this. Uh, there is no side deck for this because this is a more of a casual deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some Gyrgya combo. All right, so the first combo I'm gonna be showing you today is it starts with literally just this. Um, this is all it really starts with Gyrgyogger. So you're going to normal summon it, and you will add your accelerator to your hand. Then you will special summon it due to its own effect. Overlay them into Giga X. Detach accelerator. Its effect cannot go off, unfortunately. Um, it misses timing. And plus it wasn't sent from the field to the graveyard, so that sucks. I wish it didn't miss timing, or that it, you know, didn't. You know, I wish it didn't miss timing, and um, if it was just sent to the graveyard, period. Like, that that would have been great. But, yeah, you can search something like a Geargy Armor, or another Augur, or an Accelerator, or whatever Geargy you need. That, that That's a pretty simple combo to get a hold of. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be getting on the next one here in a moment. Alright, so this next combo, uh, all it starts with is one Girgiano Mark II and one Gear Gear Gear. Now due to how easy it is to search, um, you can often search it and of course you're since trap tricks in the deck, you're very you know, likely to open this and something to get this. So this combo is probably going to be like your main combo of the deck. Um, it's going to be your bread and butter of sorts. So yeah, it just starts with these two in hand. And um, the way that works is that, turn, you know, a turn before you set this. So it starts with this set and this in your hand. So you're going to start off by activating Gear Gear Gear, summoning one Gear Giano and one Gear Giano Mark III from the deck. Do not activate Mark III's effect yet. These two will be level 4. You're going to overlay them into one Gear Gigant X. Now the next part of this combo is that you, this is very crucial. Detach Mark III, specifically Mark III. If you do not, I mean... It's going to, if you don't play another, if you run out of Mark 3s, you're basically just done. You know, you, you need this in your graveyard. It's better if you have it in your graveyard, because then you can um, use Mark 2 um, later. But right now, we're going to use its effect, the Gigant, 
to add one mark one to our hand. Of course, if you can, you might be able to detach mark one and grab a mark three, but I don't recommend that because mark three is better than the graveyard where you can use it for other things like grabbing it maybe with Gigan, I don't know, or summoning it with mark two at a different time. Now you will normal summon your mark two and you will special summon your mark three from the graveyard. This is when you use Mark III's effect, Special Summon, the Mark I from your hand. If this is already in your graveyard, from like earlier in the game or something, then you can search for a different one, but this is if you don't have it. Now you have three level threes. This is the combo that is like recommended by the Gear Gear Rampage, but basically you like take these three and you go into an XG. Now you have three um, protections in battle, so three attacks, and you have another search off of Gigan. Most importantly, you have two big XCs monsters on your board. That's, that's not half bad. If only this could upgrade, or maybe like co combine these two into like some big guy that can like uh, blanket negate the battle phase for your opponent. Like I, I wish there was something like that. I, I love this deck. Um, but yeah, the main thing you're going to do is, like, stall your opponent, maybe. You know, make slow the game state down while you're speeding up. So you're, you you be speeding while they're slow. And eventually what you will do is OTK them. Be it with a bunch of machines and a limiter removal. Or, since you have so many level 4s that get spammed out, a Ties of the Brethren alone can get you one Shark Drake. So you, you can get a Shark Drake and um end the game because lots of lot, lots of damage um and when i make when i do my first remote duel video sometime i will be playing with a gear gear deck because i i want i want this to be real special so i'm going to be making sure that it is with it being with gear gears so i'm going to be getting some new cards uh for this deck to make it better like more times of the brethren uh, maybe more Veilers, uh, gold silver gadget, well, just a silver gadget, I already have a gold gadget. Maybe get some new Gigan X's, um, you know, basically just get all these cards some new, you know, like a new Augur would be great. You know, lot, lots of replacing, really, with a couple of new cards. And eventually I'll have a deck that I will play in my, uh, my first ever a video on remote dueling because I, I want to remote duel it actually looks like fun and at least I'll be able to play with my real cards anyways I will, uh, I will uh, one moment <laughs> I will see you next time. This is Jake. I'll see you next time.